Hello? Yeah, 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 what's up? What up, son? Ain't too much, man. Chilling, what's going on with you? Yeah, 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 them old ass niggas, son. Them fake Marines. Dishonorable discharge ass dude. You know what I'm saying? Fake Marines. Every time we talk about Marines, ain't pull no tour of duty. Ain't touched no Afghanistan. Ain't touched no Iraq. And it wasn't bull dogging. So what was it doing in the nah, early Nah, nah, what you talking about, man? What you talking about? What I'm talking about? What I'm talking about? Come on, PB, man. We can't keep doing like this. See, first you try to hide the cold from me because you know how I get. See, you want to hide the cold from me because you know how I get. But guess what? I done hacked the cold. I got the cold, man. It's on now. PBK, let's ride on them, fool, man. Let's ride on them. Slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Of being incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No I'm not giving up No I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through Thank y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel Pelican Bay Dog talking news for the night Giving it to you the way I always do Fair and unbiased Some gonna like it and some not You know, some gonna like it and some ain't you know, it's just the way it is. You know, nobody can say it like the bay. Some gonna like it, some ain't. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. <laughs> hit that like button before you get up out of here. Drop down in them comments and salute to all my brothers and sisters down in the chat. We got some dog talk to talk about today. <laughs> Excuse me, rather tonight. You know, rather tonight. We got some dog talk to talk about. You know, salute to all the Bulldoggers from the West Coast to the East Coast, up north, down south, all the way across the world, from one side of the world to the other side of the world. Let's get into this dog talk. If you want to donate to the channel, dollar sign, capital P, Pelican Bay Kennels, no spaces. Dollar sign, Pelican Bay Kennel, no spaces, cash app, or hit me up in the super chat. Appreciate all the donations, no matter if it's 50 cent. On up to a thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, PBK, uh, appreciate all the support to the channel. You know, like I said, we about to be doing some things, 
got a whole bunch of things coming for my subscribers, man. We gonna do it. I got. I'm just working on it. You know what I'm saying? Getting this thing together. So uh, yeah, we gonna have some things for my my real supporters, man. A lot of my folk that been rocking with me from day one. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my folk that just came on, but they still true supporters. You know what I'm saying? True supporters. I got some gifts for my true supporters in the future. You know, and I'm, I'm not just talking. You know, um, we're going to get into this dog stuff, man, because we got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, first, I want to say, you know, I was asleep, uh, you know, a couple nights ago when I was woken up and. I was woken up and I was given some bad news. I was given some confusing news. Like I was so confused. Okay. This one I'm trying to figure out, right? This one I'm trying to figure out. When it comes to this YouTube thing, you know, you can get views, you can get likes, you can get subscribers. You know, um, every man has his own way of trying to get it. You know, uh, you can't knock no man for trying to do what he got to do. Um, but the thing is, everybody who been rocking with my channel, you know, I have my different problems with different people throughout my days. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you know that most of the time, you know, for the most part, you know, I tell you what's going on and I tell you the whole situation. But for this particular situation here, I don't know what to tell y'all brothers because I'm lost. I'm confused, you know. Um like I I'm 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 seriously my brothers, you know I don't play, you know I tell you I got the nukes on standby, you know, and I got the guerrilla warfare on this side. You know in case they have to go to that but I'm I'm really confused right now. I'm lost. You know what I'm saying? Oh, before we get into this dog talk, let me say big shots to all my bulldoggers that's joining and entering the Samurai Kennel Digital Dog Show. You know what I'm saying? Big shots to all my people that's entering. And when I say my people, it don't necessarily mean folks that subscribe to my channel. It can be any bulldogger, you know what I'm saying? Any bulldogger that's bringing their dog to compete, that's sending their videos and photos to compete with the best from the country, the best from the world. You know, you're going to have the best dogs across the world, really, to tell you the truth. So you're going to be competing against the best dogs in the world, you know. So y'all go ahead and get them videos in. Get that work in on them dogs if you ain't got it, you know. It's deadline is September 15th. Uh... Great thing going for the, the Pitbull community. You know what I'm saying? Great thing going. Um, I see y'all brothers there on that note. You know what I'm saying? And I want to send a big shout out, big shout out to the whole Samurai Shogun crew. Samurai Kennels. My brother JT Yard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Soul Mouth. You know, shout out to all them brothers. M1. All them brothers. You know, the whole Shogun crew doing their thing. Putting that digital dog show together for us brothers out here in this dog community. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back to, you know, some other things. Because I'm lost, man. You know, I'll be burning and smoking my bud and doing my little videos and doing my little news and stuff like that. And, you know, when I start things with people, you know, I know pretty much when I start something. Or if I say some slick stuff in my videos, I know if I'm saying something. You know what I'm saying? But this particular time, I'm lost. You know, I'm lost. I'm baffled. You know, because I said plenty of stuff in the past, you know, towards people that can direct uh, uh, insult, that can direct the uh, any type of uh, aggress aggressive action towards PBK9s when it comes to the YouTube. But when I did, when I really did something, Nobody did anything. Like, I'm super lost, my brothers and sisters. You know, I, I'm, I know y'all heard, you know, the brother going hard went in on me the other night. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you what made me super lost, my brothers. I'm on Facebook advertising this brother 
as he's hosting the dog digital dog show. So it can't be a problem. I never said anything in my videos. Like I'm lost. I'm baffled. But then I sat back for a few seconds. Got me an L. Lit it up. I took a pull. And I had to think for a minute. You know, I had to think for a minute. I said, what would make him go at me knowing like this brother got this dog show going on, which I have nothing to do with. I'm entering my dog myself. You know what I'm saying? This brother got a dog show going on. We all trying to get this thing pumping with this brother. And out of the blue, he just start bashing Pelican Bay canines. And I'm dead serious, my brothers and sisters, when I say I'm unaware of what this is going on. Now, I will say to you, Going Hard Kennels called my phone about a week ago, a little less than a week maybe, say somebody on the back street told him I was talking about him. I clarified that they lied, and, 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 and you know me, if I'm going to say something about you, you know I'm going to do it on the, on the video. You know, and pretty much for the most part, even when I talk sideways on my videos, my brothers in the chat be knowing who I be talking about. Now, to the brother Cool Beans and uh, Ben Brock, you know, and I got something special to say to you, Ben Brock, in a minute. To my brother Cool Beans and Ben Brock uh, that was talking to me about, and no matter of fact, I got something special to say to Ben Brock. You know, because I I, I'm tired of all this bullshit. You know, got something to tell you. But the other day when um, uh, Insane Honey Badger, you know, and Cool Beans, you know, that's who I was directing my video to when I was talking about the last dogs because the conversations we had. You know what I'm saying? And that wasn't even no disrespectful video. Because of the conversations we had, that's who... I was talking to and them brothers knew who I was talking to. Okay. Now, it was no kind of misunderstanding because we're going to get that clear. You know, it was no misunderstanding. You know what I'm saying? It was none of that. What we have a, a case of here, my brothers, you know, we're going to talk about it for a few minutes. You know, because we're going to do this. This is a long show tonight. You know what I'm saying? This is a long show. We got some things to talk about and we're going to break it all the way down. And the thing about it, once I, once I do this show tonight, I'm not going to address this no more. And I'm going to tell you why. And once the show get to rolling, you know, I'm going to tell you why. You know, see, I was talking to folk that was in my chat. You know what I'm saying? Um, giving them, you know, the, the info that they wanted with the conversation we was talking about. You know, this comes to a basic case of A and B conversation. See your way out. How do you even get into our conversation? See, y'all boys up north, I thought y'all was better than that. I thought y'all knew about getting in conversations and stuff and getting in people's business. Well, I guess it ain't everybody, just them New York boys. Shout out to my New York brothers out there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them five boroughs, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Manhattan, Harlem, and Staten Island. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all them brothers. Shout out to them toll booth holders. You know what I'm saying? To be taking that money when us brothers come up there and used to paying tolls. Because we don't pay no tolls from this area where I'm from until we get up north. You know? But that, yeah, it is, that's a whole other subject. We talking right now. You know what I'm saying? We talking. You know, brothers, this, this comes to a basic case of lack of content. Lack of content, my brothers. See, that's what we come to now. You know, when we come to making up arguments, see, I, I didn't do nothing to that brother. And everybody who watched my videos, they know I call that brother Big Unk. But see, one thing about it, <laughs> PBK9s, you know, at the end of the day, can't take that kind of disrespect from somebody who got my phone number. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to talk about all that stuff, my brothers. All that stuff. It was easy to call me last week, right? It was easy to call me last week. No, actually, you text me. You didn't call me. I text you back, huh? What are you talking about? You got me lost. You had me lost then, and you got me lost now with your little five-hour um, charade that you went off with last night. 
See, I'm going to do and say what I got to say in less than five hours. You know, I can really say what I got to say in a couple sentences and kill all this shit. But I'm going to give my brothers what they want. Like, they came to get that boxing, that fight. I'm going to give them what they want, a good show. And this shit over with. And like I said, I'm going to let my brothers know why it's over with. You know? Now, see, when I, when I want to unleash the nukes and stuff, you know, I always held back. See, and St. Honey Badger, when me and you was talking just a couple days ago, that was just a conversation, you know? Everybody expressing their opinion. See, you got to understand what the difference is when I go at you and when I express my opinion. See, you know, me and you, you, we was expressing our opinion, right? But see, the thing is, these brothers don't respect kindness. These brothers don't respect the real. These brothers want to be uh, baby, pampered. They want to be told they, they dogs the shit. You know, they want to be lied to, you know. At the end of the day, PBK nines, and I'm starting this show off tonight by saying I'm lost, I'm baffled, I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? All I know is I told y'all brothers week, month after month, uh, we've been going for a couple years now. I told y'all when we get into this type of situation, you know, we keep weapons over here, we keep weapons over there. And when I say weapons, what I said, not weapon, weapons, nuclears, not one nuke, more than one nuke. So tonight, you know, like I said, I'm not responding no more after the night because of what I'm going to tell y'all. But if I have to respond, I got nuke sitting on the side that'll blow motherfuckers mind. But see, right now, PBK9 is at loss, my brothers. Liquid Lucky, I'm at loss, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Scratch line news. I'm at loss, fam. I don't know what's going on. All I know is I'm the topic of the five-hour discussion, you know, and Big John. We're going to talk about all that, you know. I'm lost. I'm trying to figure out what did I do, you know. And the reason why I'm trying to figure out, because it kind of hurt me because I looked up to certain folk, you know what I'm saying, on some real shit. You know, I looked up to folk. You know, I'm not going to get up there on my show and say, oh, big unk this and big unk that and, 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 and you know, uh, not mean it. But when I say look up, it don't mean as a dog man. It means as a person, you know, as a person. But see, one thing about respect, it must be given in order to get, you know. And the way I was played last night, I must be didn't give any respect. I must be didn't give any respect. You know? And like I said, you know, uh, Friday night is not my normal night. But the first thing we're going to do, because I'm so lost with this, first thing we're going to do is stop the money flow. You know? He got a show showing tonight. We're going to shut all that down. We're going to stop the money flow. I'm going to go Tuesday as well. I'm going Saturday live. You know, my normal Saturday live, he can't even fuck with that. And then I'm going to go on his live on Tuesday. You know, see, what you, you what you can't do is start something you can't finish. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, right now, you know, like I said, I'm kind of uh, in pain. When I say in pain, because it, it, it kind of hurts me to do this. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I only got in that chat last night for a few times. For a few times. Because I really didn't expect that. You really caught me totally off guard with that move you pulled last night. Going hard one and going hard two. You know? So, we back to the subject of lack of content. Okay? So, we running out of content. That means... All the brothers that been telling me, yo, over the past month, going hard, Kennel been copying off everything you've been saying, Pelican Bay. He looking at your channel, getting content. I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, that's what we YouTubers do. You know? But see, my brothers, don't y'all always hear me say, 
Yo, man, I got to go work. I don't want to get no content from your show, so I ain't going to watch your show tonight. I'll catch it on the rebound, though. You know, I always say that. You know why I say that? Because if I'm sitting here watching your show throughout your whole show, I'm going to come up with a contradiction, and I'm going to want to add it to my show. So to keep everything good, I don't watch it until I've done my shows and do stuff like that. You know, it has nothing to do with I don't want to watch a show. Is that I'm working. I'm constantly in the studio. I stay working. I stay working. So if I get your content in my brain, I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? So we come to the point that uh, going hard, one, Mike, Maurice, which one ever it is, two, okay, ran out of content. Ran out of content. Now, they try to jump on me in the middle of what we supposed to be trying to work on as a collective unit, just common sense without saying, yo, go do this, go do that. Just common sense, brother, should we we done been talking about um, trying to make this dog thing the biggest thing ever. You know what I'm saying? From everybody's point. However that brother can help over there, he help. However this brother can help over here, he help. However this brother can help over here, he help. However that sister can help, she help. However that sister can help, she help. But in the middle of all that, we got one jerk. Well, let me take that back, brother. Two jerks that ran out of content, you know, and decided to jump on PBK9s. See, I'm going to get you views for last night, you know. And you may get views for one or two more videos, but eventually look, your content will run out again. Because see, brothers, what I'm going to do? I'm just going to run straight news channels. I mean, straight news videos, you know, for the next couple weeks. Straight news videos. And he can't copy off them. You know, he won't have nothing to copy off of them. And then I won't have to worry about getting bashed. Now, hunt down. I can take this shit. I can take it and I would have been ready for it if I would have knew I would have did something. But, yo, and if it, it, it wouldn't have hurt me as bad if... Uh, one of them other brothers would have said it, or one of them other brothers would have did it. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't, it wouldn't affect me the same way. But for a brother that I get up there and talk good about every day, not every day, but whenever I mention his name, I'm only talking good about him. Like, I'm lost. You know what I'm saying? I'm lost. But I've been telling y'all about the nukes for a long time. I've been telling y'all about the nukes for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, yo, once you come... The um, stomping on my territory, just like the U.S. You could talk a lot of shit, but once you fuck with this soil here, once you fuck with this ground, we got to take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? We got to take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? We got to bring out the big boys, you know? And at the end of the day, like I said, my brothers, enjoy what I'm about to say tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm done with it. And I'm going to let you know. I'm going to keep saying that until I let you know. Reason why. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen. When you run out of content, you better work your brain more, man. You got to work your brain more. You can't try to knock a brother down because you ran out of content. You know what I'm saying? You can't try to uh, make up stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about literally making up things because you ran out of content. Like brothers say y'all ran out of content. Weeks ago, weeks ago, y'all ran out of content. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not something that y'all can hide. Everybody see it. The same way they can see what Pro was doing. The same way they can see what I be doing. The same way they can see what anybody else doing. They see you ran out of content. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't expect you to do that. Because if you run out of content, how the hell are you going to go like that? You know what I'm saying? You got to be a content maker. You're not a content creator. You're just a talker. You ain't your brother. Talkers. See, we're going to get into all that. Going hard one and two. I'm making y'all more famous than you ever was tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to give y'all some fame points tonight. Some brownie points. You know? The little brothers who look big on the, on the, on the camera. <laughs> They attacked PBK9s for nothing because they ran out of content. See, 
brothers really, excuse me, brothers really start knowing you run out of content when you went D'Angelo. Y'all brothers, y'all, y'all young brothers might not know who D'Angelo is. You know D'Angelo, the R&B singer. They went D'Angelo a few, week, few weeks back. They went ass naked to sell. They bought their old ladies up there. They ain't had no other choice. They switched it to the, try to make it to a situation like, you know, which was a good conversation about, with old ladies, you know. But that, that ain't why they came up there. They brought them up there because they was running out of content. They going to everything they can get, you know. They trying to grab everything they can get, you know, to make some content. And it don't work like that. You got to be a creator. Go on them YouTube and read them that small writing and see what they tell you about being a creator. That's what this thing about, man. You could talk all you want to talk. But if you ain't a creator, you're going to stop. Because I'm going to figure out a way you can't copy on me. And I ain't even tagging none of my videos. You can take all the content on my videos you want. I'm just going to make videos you can't copy from. Be unique in my own way. <laughs> and that way when they see and hear you talking about stuff, they know you're getting it off the bay. They know you're getting it off the bay. But let's keep this bulldog talk going, my brothers. Because, see, we got content. You know what I'm saying? We got content. Now, you know, we're going to do this thing like a, a lawyer do it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to show y'all brothers where he lies a lot at. We're going to show y'all brothers where going hard kennel lies a lot, you know. Okay, now, this is what we also want to know too, brothers. Was pro-line or not? Was pro-line or not when when he, when he they separated off his channel and they start going at him acting like pro was the one starting it? Did pro start that or did y'all really start that with him? The same way y'all started with me. Only thing is a difference, you know. It's a difference and you're going to tell in a few minutes. See, first thing we're going to talk about like I said, folk when they lying. The first the first lie we caught that brother in that I know of, he came in on the show line saying he beat Fat Bill. Fat Bill turned around and said he never even heard of that fool before. He never heard of going hard kennels before. You know, that was the first lie they caught him in. He came on the show talking about that. See, we already figured out what his thing is. Make up stories about dead people. Make up stories about people who ain't around. You know what I'm saying? We can't verify all that shit. We can't verify it. You know? Now, next lie we caught him in. He start talking, talking, talking. You know, way back then, if y'all been watching his videos, he start talking, and, he, and he, then he said he beat uh, Walk Em Off. Okay, that's the next lie we caught him in. So we already caught him in two lies already. You know what I'm saying? Now, them brothers be saying he be lying about the Mayday shows. Three lies. Them boys say he be lying about May 2. Four lies. Okay, but I know for the for sure about the ones I said. Fat Bill say he didn't know them. And he definitely didn't beat them boys. Okay, now... That we established that he's a klepto liar. You know what I'm saying? And all see the thing is, brothers are feed off y'all brothers in the chat, right? Feed off y'all brothers in the chat. Going hard. Going hard. Brother, you you old enough, well old enough. You called me last week. You called me earlier this week. Why wouldn't you call me again if you felt like I said something? Because you clout chasing. Because you you got a lack of content. You know what I'm saying? You, sh you also showed me you had a lack of character. See, you and your monkey looking brother, y'all can get up there on that show after I say what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? But it don't make me no difference. It don't make me no difference. You know? It don't make me no difference because at the end of the day, you're talking about Big John, Big John, Big John. You never seen Big John in your life. Did you tell them boys that? 
Did you tell them boys you never seen Big John in your life? Did you tell them boys you never bought a walk em all dog from them boys in your life? Yeah, you made a breeding to Little John, but did you tell them boys, them boys ain't show you no dogs, they bought Little John to the front yard. Stuck to your dog, you got a litter, you know, and that was all good. You didn't enjoy it, cool. You never bought a dog from them boys personally. That was whatever kind of shit you bought over there to breed. They can't help what you bought over there to breed didn't turn out the way it's, you thought it was. You know, you want them boys to save your shit? You got to bring something over there worth something from the start. Okay. Now we got a lack of content, my brothers. We got a lack of content. And we got a brother who lashing out for no reason. Not a brother, but a granddaddy. A great granddaddy. A senior citizen. Lashing out for no reason. Like, this shit don't make no sense, man. This shit don't make no sense. And I'm sitting over here trying to do the right things, but I'm doing the right thing because y'all boys ever heard that statement? Sometimes you got to do a little bad to do a little good. That's one of these statements tonight. <laughs> Doing a little bad to do a little good. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's going tonight. Salute to all my people that's watching for the first time tonight. Salute to all my people down in the chat that's rocking with you. That's rocking with me, PBK9s. I'm rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Shout out to my man, City Boy Kennels, in the motherfucking house. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We going to do it. We going to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep that thing rolling. Now, my Bulldog brothers and sisters, you know, all them brothers say already, going hard channel ain't worth a fuck. They say all you do is talk about yourself. Hype yourself up all your show, you know. And, that, and you don't hear that, just like I don't hear what people say about mine. But at the end of the day, shit, you know, you the one getting content off my show, so that let me know something. You know what I'm saying? You getting content off my show, you know, and y'all got two heads. They say two heads is better than one. Y'all must be two dumb motherfuckers. If y'all done ran out of content already, jumping around all that yelling in the background, you better be back there reading the damn book, getting some content. Yo, 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 yo. You better be reading, 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 reading that damn book. Yeah. Because <laughs> we about to get into that tonight, baby. Yeah, don't jump on that horse if you can't ride it. Like I say, we ain't coming to scratch. All that scratching back, scratching back. We coming to do the finish. We coming to finish it. It ain't no response after this. You know, it might be, but I, my ear is going to be closed and clogged and move the fuck on. Shout out to my bulldoggers out there. You know what I'm saying? Once again, you know, because there's a lot of bulldoggers that been wanting to tell going hard kennels that shit for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And truthfully, you know, truthfully, like I said, you don't know Fat Bill. You know what I'm saying? Fat Bill trying to give you props, you know, and act like he know you and all kind of shit. He, that man don't know your ass from ass and Adam. Them boys don't know you. When I was trying to show them boys, them Big John boys, your, your videos, when you first start posting, when you first start posting, they didn't know who the hell you was. And then I had to break it, break it all the way down. They said, oh, he came and bred a dog with us. Nothing more, nothing less. See, this is a situation, brothers, where we got one brother mad. We were, Well, we got two of them brothers mad because they ain't part of the chitlin circuit. Two brothers mad. So they decided to leash out at me for nothing. Could have called my phone. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the OGs out there. Brother Rise, Rasta Man, Brother Bach, Brother 7 8, Brother Garcia, uh, Brother Triple J. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all the brothers, like I say, all the Bulldog channels, OGs. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the brothers, man. Shout out to all the brothers trying to get this content that ain't going to lash out at somebody for nothing when they don't got no content to come back with. I ain't talking about no talking shit. 
Because <laughs> like I say, the rest of my content from this week on is not talking about them. I'm going to cover that Tuesday next week without even talking about them, period. We're going to talk about Bulldogs. Might have a special guest interview. You know what I'm saying? Special guest interview. You know? It just is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel different if I did something to somebody or if I said something wrong to somebody. But right now, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do anything, period. Now, what I'm starting to wonder is what did I say wrong? Now, the first thing, my brothers, you know what I'm saying? First thing we're going to talk about, Mayday. I can care less about Mayday, for one. Number two, going hard kennels, somehow or another, Act like he's the Mayday representer. You know, somehow or another, he feels like he's a Mayday representer. You know what I'm saying? Somehow or another. Because he had a so-called champion back in the days, which was cool. Okay. Now, if you say something about a Mayday dog, he gets mad. Now, ask him if he got a Mayday dog in 2023. He probably gives some kind of excuse. But we're going to talk about all that tonight. We're going to talk about all that tonight. Go ahead and drop down in that cash app, my brothers. Go ahead and hit me up in that super, super chat. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button before you get up out of here. We about to get into it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, folks screaming, all these Big John bread dogs and never seen none of them. Never bought none of them. And they got a 25% in the third pedigree, which is not even a 25% no more. He was 25% in the third. You know what I'm saying? Or that Big John stuff, and then they're tearing it down. You got that stuff in yours, hoping they can bring the rest of that shit you got out. See, twin, going hard, twin. I'm going to stop calling you going hard because you ain't going hard, you know. Then you you was just bragging about to me. You was just bragging to me about some dog you just bought from overseas. I guess that's why you got on your show trying to say overseas dogs was better. They got the top dogs overseas now because you just got one. Boy, it's funny how brothers switch up their game plan according to what they buying, according to what they searching for. Because we going to get into all that, brothers. Searching. That's the key word, searching. We gonna get into it, my brothers. Yeah, man. I'm disappointed. Six one four three. I was just shooting you shots out like and you turn around and get in the other chat and and diss me. You know what I'm saying? Uh let's see who else here. Cool beans. Hemi James. You know what I'm saying? Hemi James is like that. You know, it is what it is, though. You know how I play it. You know what I'm saying? You know how I play it. AQ Henry. AQ Henry. AQ Henry. A biggest one of the biggest haters, cause you can listen, you can tell a hater by the way they speak. When you speaking on me, say I, I need to go train a dog in the park. You's a big hater. You probably wish you can go train a dog in the park. You know what I'm saying? You probably wish you can do that. You know? You probably wish you can do it. But see, at the end of the day, you know, Cayman, same thing with you, fam. You know, same thing with you. Disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Disappointed. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I got brothers like Ben Brockerton that, that talk shit on to me on my channel. It is what it is. We go back and forth. But when it when it comes down to somebody else talking shit to me and I ain't there, brothers stand up and say, yo, it is what it is. You know, stand up. Stop acting like uh what you know, hoes. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that brother Ben Brockerton. You know what I'm saying? Salute to you, fam. We can argue on every damn video I have for the rest of my damn time on YouTube. But you all right with me, homie. You know what I'm saying? You all right with me. Now, Haki Lee, another soldier. Another soldier. Salute to you, fam. You know what I'm saying? Salute to you, fam. It is what it is, man. You know? Hate to do it like this, you know what I'm saying? But I, I was really left no choice. You know what I'm saying? I was really left no choice. See, if y'all pay attention, 
Pro was right. You know what I'm saying? Pro was right, but I just rolled with it because I wasn't saying anything. Nobody knew going hard in the real dog circuit. Yeah, you in a magazine or two. See, he clinching on that magazine because that's all he got. Once that magazine, if that magazine ever get gone or they can't find it, he don't got nothing else to show for the dog game. See, you cracking and saying some going to like it and some not. Opponents with no champions. But you were 70, you one of the only 70 some year old dog men with no dog line. My 20 some 19 year old brothers going hard ain't no different than y'all. He out here searching right now. You know, he out here searching, trying to find some, some good blood, but acting like he running that Mayday stuff, popping his chest every time you talk about a Mayday dog. Like he the Mayday representative, he ain't got no damn Mayday dogs his damn self right now. Man, you better get off that old school shit and wake your old ass up. Yeah, I talk about both, but I got dogs present day that I, that I show. You know, I got dogs present day that I show. You up there talking about my dogs. My dog, J.D. Hogg, is more famous than every dog you got right now. More people know J.D. Hall than every damn dog you got right now. Not to mention how you was talking shit to me about Welsh not what, a week or so ago. Then you laughing Welsh face. Talking shit about him. Oh yeah. Uh, he ain't no dog man. He's just a rookie. He green. This and that. This and that. I guess everybody green. Everybody will be green to y'all. Y'all damn near. Y'all, like I say, y'all senior citizens. You know what I'm saying? Y'all damn nursing home material. You know? So I'm going to bring your trays to your damn room right now. You know, I'm about to deliver that shit to you. PBK9 style. You know? Stop lying on them big John dogs. You ain't never seen a damn big John dog in your damn life. All you did was heard about them dogs. You bred to them. You seen a little John dog, little John. You don't know shit about Big John going hard kennels. And nobody from the South know anything about you. And guess what? I don't care about being known in Ohio. You know, I don't care about that. What the hell? I look like. Skipping over North Carolina, skipping over Virginia, skipping over Washington, skipping over everywhere, New York, everywhere. To worry about what the hell motherfucker think about in Ohio. You coming down here trying to fit in. We could tell the way you at that Tom Garner show. Instead of taking pictures with real dog man, you out there looking like a fan out there. Out there looking like a damn fan. I guess that's how brothers would act when they finally get their chance to be around the people they've been reading about in them damn journals all their damn life. Boy, y'all boys was 30 some years old going on 40 years old when them journals was out. And that's all the work you could come up with, what the brat did. And once you find out how easy it was, I'm quite sure she made champion. Here, my brothers, like I said, we got senior citizens that's mad at Pelican Bay Canines because they done grew old. It's too late for them to get any dogs trying to start a line. They'll be 80 years old by the time they check the percentages in them. You know what I'm saying? By the time they check the percentages, like Insane Honey Badger talking about, their homeboy, they'll be 80 years old. Maybe Insane can push them around and shit. You know what I'm saying? By that time, you know, and maybe, or maybe they can uh, finally have their line. You know, finally, because it ain't never too late. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's a shame to be out here hating on brothers who got dogs, real dogs, Mayday dogs. I got more Mayday in my yard than you got, and you popping shit on Mayday like you a Mayday representative. And all you had was a couple, how many breedings did you do to Mayday if you had that much connections? Your whole yard should have been full up with Mayday. You ain't connected to none of them real dog brothers trying to act like your best friends with Victor. Yeah, you made a breeding or two, touch, made it one or two times. Hell, if you even went to the show, fuck it. I mean, like brothers and sisters, you know, we got dog men who claiming to be so 
top echelon dog man, and it going on damn 70 years old, ain't got not one damn dog to show for it. A damn story from the 80s. Man, y'all boys washed up. Twin one and two washed up, man. Y'all washed up. The dog game is just good. It's good to get stories from y'all brothers. You never can't tell when you're lying. You got one jumping around in the background like a fool. You know, we want to hear what he, hell he got to talk about about dogs without you being around. You know, coaching them all the time. Because one of y'all don't know something about dogs. Both of y'all up there telling it, but only one of y'all know. And we're going to figure out which one of y'all know. I believe it's that other one that come up there. You know, the other one, Mike. I believe Mike the fake dog man. You know what I'm saying? But if he don't know about dogs, I'm damn sure about to see. You know, we're going to see how much content he's talking about. Mike, get up there and talk about some dogs by your damn self some damn time. Without twin being outside of the camera, schooling you and shooting you and telling you what the damn say. Hey, it is what it is, though. Talking about split ears. This and they never seen split ears in your damn life. Like I tell y'all, brothers, going hard kennel never seen one dog off a big John line that came from them brothers in his damn life. Then he tell y'all brothers he got beat by Crossroads Lock and Load. Now, I'm about to sit here and tell y'all brothers Lock and Load wasn't throwing off shit. <laughs> had plenty of dogs off Lock and Load. He wasn't shit and had an opportunity to buy them, didn't want them. You know? Now, see, I know what got him mad, but I just can't tell which one. Was he mad because I'm talking about Mayday? And I got a dog with more Mayday than every damn thing on his yard. And I sit there and say, damn Mayday, J.D. Hogg is that shit. J.D. Hogg, that shit got going hard over there running off at his mouth. You know, wishing he can get some of that sperm off of him. To get him some real Mayday on his yard with all that bullshit he got. <laughs> hey, when a, brother, when a brother don't got no dogs to show and, st and straight jump on another brother for nothing, that's when I start saying you got bullshit on your yard. Because ain't no brother seen a dog yet. You posted. Everything we seen been something for a damn magazine. Something from a damn that'll come from back in the days. Now, what about the basement? Everything that you came in the game with was a bunch of bullshit. Nobody ain't going to no damn basement. Sound like something to trap a brother off. And you 60-some years old talking to these 20-some years old about a damn basement. What the hell are you trying to do? Slap that man across the back of the head and rape him or something? Damn basement. I ain't going with no grown man in no damn basement. What are you trying to do? Then you jump on pro, jump on pro, jump on pro, because he ain't got no damn dog. Nothing, nothing to fall back on. You see? But see, down south, you don't got nothing to fall back on. You know? A lot of them brothers in your chat, you got gassed up. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, nobody don't know you around here, dog. Now I want you to say the same thing for me. Nobody don't know me around well. Will you stay at? <laughs> hey, shout out to my Ohio fam. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Florida fam. Because, damn, I guarantee you more people know Pelican Bay in Florida than they know going hard. And if you were such a dog man like you say, you wouldn't have a hard time starting your good lineup. You know? What was you doing from the time you had the brat, the rat now, that you ain't got no more the brats to, to brag about? I guess you was just missing an action. Exploring. Trying to find the right line. <laughs> Checking percentages. And now, 2023, you mad because... I can pull a Big John dog out my backyard with Big John in the third pedigree. <laughs> Real Big John stuff. You know, all the stuff that I'm talking about, bragging about, and you can't do it. Pull something that's off your Mayday stock. You Mayday representative. You a Mayday spokesman, right? Pull something off your yard that's pure Mayday. <laughs> that ain't nobody else dog that you're going to get their pedigree right now. Oh, I don't get on your little live and go five hours because I'm shutting the night down. 
get on your live and go five hours to talk about a bunch of nothing. Talk about your sales. Brother's tired of hearing about your sales when you're lying about half the shit you're talking about. Now, you did see Little John briefly. You did see Little John briefly. You ain't seen not one other walk dog on a walk yard. And then you call, got somebody calling in for help. You need help when you start talking about me to verify what you're saying? That was no verification, fam. All that was was showing your lack of content, your lack of something to talk about. Now you want to talk about brothers with real dogs. How you know what they was making back in them days? You was following them? You was following that line year after year after year, wasn't buying it and just following it? Just following it and wasn't buying it? <laughs> yeah, everybody couldn't get hold of that stuff. He ain't tell y'all that part. Everybody couldn't get hold of that stuff. He was one of them. It just got where you can go grab it like that. It just got like that where you can go grab it. He ain't had no connections. But he'd get on here on Facebook and, and YouTube and act like he a big time dog man because he in a sporting dog journal. When he not connected. I'm sitting here trying to, brothers been saying that, but we just kept it on the hush because you was cool as hell and you was an old dude. But see. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't know if y'all getting L timers. I don't know what y'all getting. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all is kind of up there. But don't get mad at me because you, you don't got a line to fall back on and you done wasted your whole damn life in the dog game. You didn't waste your life. I don't mean you waste your life like waste on money or nothing like that. Or, nah, you're living good. But dog game wise, you washed up in a wannabe. You washed up. Let the real brothers take this dog game over and sit your washed up ass down somewhere. You ain't your washed up ass brother. Jump around looking like monkeys like I said before. You know, we just getting started this thing tonight, man. We just getting started this thing tonight because you know, like I said, I'm puzzled, man. You know, I wasn't expecting none of that. I wasn't expecting it, man. And just like pro say, you just made your dog a rum dog over the last year or two. You just made the dog a rum dog. You know, updating all the stuff in the pedigrees when you know when you're about to do your little show. Now, when you ask me, and this is the reason why I say I'm not going to respond back to y'all. Y'all fell out of the top five dog channels. When you ask me, y'all fell out of the top five dog channels when it comes to content. Forget subscribers. Forget how many people in your chat. We talking about content. Y'all not top five dog channels. All y'all do, like I said before, is talk about your damn self. You know, that's all y'all do. Y'all don't got no content, you know, and by y'all coming at me like that, for no reason at all, shows me that you look up to me. You know what I'm saying? Shows me that. That's why I say I'm not going to respond back to somebody I know not doing it on the level I'm doing it. See, right now, I'm not in that dog game. They like to brag about, talk about this and that because it got it in the journal. I'm not in that. I'm doing real things with these dogs today. You know? Stop bragging about the brat and bring one of them dogs out your backyard and show us what, what they look like. Or show us a pedigree, you know. Hell, if you had that many pedigrees or, or any good dogs to talk about, you wouldn't be talking about me. In the middle of the while I'm trying to work and handle business out here with the real dog brothers in this fraternity. See? See, and, and that's the thing. When you first start doing your dog shows, that's why when you came on, you came on talking about how black brothers blackball, this and that, this and that, this and that. No dog. It wasn't none of that. You just weren't connected. You weren't connected with the real dog men, you know, period. 
You say you did something with Crossroad, but we can't verify verify that, and we know you're a known liar, so we ain't going off that shit. Them boys can go off of it. But once you start lying on one dog, two dogs, three dogs, man, I don't believe none of that shit you say no more. You just a good reader, and you love dogs just like the next brother. And you been, like I said, when you was in the, 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 the journal, you was in your 30s. What 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 happened in all the mist? You going on assembly now? No dogs to show for it. No champions in the past to show for it. Or you can argue about some dogs you sold to somebody else and they did breedings with them. Same way I did with Sambo. You don't see me arguing with them boys, talking about what the hell they bred Bo with. Trying to take somebody else's credit for breedings they made. Because it came off a dog you made, yeah. But you ain't make that damn next breeding. And like I say, you unknown down here. You been unknown down here from the time you started your channel. You ain't getting known till you started your channel. You know? That's why when you look and you see online pedigrees or you look in the books and you see his name or something now, and you might like, oh, I never noticed this. You never noticed it because he was unknown. Just because you're in a journal don't make, make you a known bulldog. That means you had to connect to get send your information in to Kelly. Which is a magazine subscription. All it is is filling out a paper. Kelly not there. Kelly not there when, when you fill out. This is, what, this is what they do, my brothers. This is how easy it is to make a champion. You fill out your damn papers. You got the referee. You got the time and all that stuff. You filling that shit out yourself. You send that paper to him. He not going to call around and check this and check that and check this, check that and check this. It's a money thing, but it's all good. Because the day we about to solve all that, you know what I'm saying? Or tonight, rather. You know, we going to solve all that tonight. Now, let's get to one of the things what probably really make them mad. Steroids. He's a steroid spokesman, too. Him and his brother. But y'all the steroid spokesman to say y'all real flingy. Y'all smaller than me. Flingier than me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, steroid spokesman. You talk about steroids, they get mad. They got mad when Pro talked about steroids. Wasn't even talking about them. If any dog channel mentions steroids, going hard going to think you're talking about him. And this is why. He never had a dog to do any winning if he didn't use steroids. So he, he really can't talk about having a bulldog. You can talk about ha having a drugged up dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can talk about that. You know, you don't know what the hell you had if you got to use steroids every time you go to the damn show. That's what made him mad, see? I didn't even know by me saying steroids and all that shit was going to tick him, tick him off. If I knew that, I wouldn't have said it in that way. Nah, I'm lying. Because I wasn't talking to him. Like, he had like he the only one that ever used steroids on their dog before all, all them brothers across the country. That's why them boys say you stuck on yourself. You think everything is about you. But you wasn't hitting no shit in the dog game. Now you came and breed with little John, but oh, it was funny because you wanted to breed with him, right? It was cool, but you couldn't seem to find your way back over there to get that role on. You found your way to make that breeding to go over there and do some playing over there. But if you felt like they was cursed, why you didn't find your way back over there? Because you didn't want that smoke. You just a bunch of talk. You know what I'm saying? Now you just a talking ass old man. You need to go sit. You and your old ass man brother need to go sit down somewhere. And like I said, stop woofing at these young brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't got no dogs to show for it. And you've been in the dog game since the 70s. What the hell the purpose to brag about Mayday and you ain't got shit to show for it? Nothing to show for it. And I don't, like I said before, brothers, all I mean by show for it is a damn dog. All that talking he do for five hours. Not one damn dog to show you for all that shit he talking about he did back in the days. 
Sound like a crock of shit to me, but don't. But see, like I said, won't respond back to nothing else he say. Nothing he say matters to me. Because I see that, like I said, his channel done fell all the way out the rankings. His channel done fell all, fell all the way out the rankings. He said he a podcast. Man, how the hell you a podcast and you can't get no content? YouTuber, content creator. But I mean, hey, you know y'all boys getting up there now. Y'all at nursing home age. Like I told y'all before, you better chill your ass out. You know, better chill your ass out. Then you got all your little flunkies. And, and the thing about it is like, the, the, for the age that you is, and you, and, and you gassed up about everybody in the chat gassing you up. Oh, this and that and this and that. And you going with it. You going with it. Stella calling my phone. Now, please tell us, have you ever had a winner without putting them on steroids? No. Have you ever had a winner without putting them on steroids? <laughs> you can't create no content. That's why you're trying to say my shit. <laughs> some going to like it, some ain't. We want to know if your brother know anything about Bulldogs, though, without you being around. Mike, talk some Bulldogs without your brother being around. And some of them brothers in the chat ask him some off-the-wall shit. Something he ain't done study for damn three weeks already. Couldn't be studying. Y'all running out of content. But the whole thing is, you know, like I say, I don't even got to argue with you. You know, it ain't my fault you damn 70 some years about to be 70 and ain't got no dogs. The show for it. Oh, I was a performer. Perform my ass. How the hell you was a performer in, in, in a 30 year period of time and you ain't got but one damn champion? Three wins all it takes for a champion. You must have stopped. What you got, foe? Brag about something modern day time and stop talking about all that old up shit. You washed up ass, old ass, nursing home ass material. But see, I gotta go feed these dogs because we're gonna have a long show tonight. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a long show tonight. Them same dogs that got them hating. Like I said, he can't go out there. He never in his life was able to touch a big giant dog that he got from the source. Other than them damn puppies he be complaining about. It ain't our fault the other half of the dog wasn't shit. You got to have a whole collection of dog to make a, a solid damn little of puppies. Not just one half. You can't bring a piece of shit over to a dog and try to hope that dog uh, make the puppies better. See, my dog brothers, I told y'all when you go live, it don't make money. And what makes money when you go live is when y'all brothers donate in the chat. When y'all donate to the cash app. That's how you make money. Them lives, them five-hour lives, there's no money in that. YouTube is not paying you. For, they're going to pay you a little teeny bit, but they ain't going to pay you much. Not as much as y'all thinking. A pre-recorded video makes a whole lot more than lives. Pre-recorded takes content creation. You know what I'm saying? Content creation. Y'all brothers stop selling on for anybody just telling y'all any damn thing and y'all running with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, steroids, this and that, and steroids, and this and that, and this and that. Like I said, tell us if you ever had a bulldog without steroids. Because you probably ain't had no damn bulldog then. And try to run off Mayday name. Trying to use Mayday name. But you ain't never seen that dog can do anything without steroids. We don't know if that's a real bulldog or not. That's why I tell my brothers about steroids. You use it. And then when you go to breeding it, that's like saying you got 20s knowing you got damn 18s. Motherfucker. Telling this man this dog is this and this knowing you had to make that dog that. That dog wasn't born that. He was made to that. And I ain't talking about made by work. I'm talking about made by injected. Whether it's illegal or not, a sport is a sport. And when you use it, 
<laughs> you're trying to get the edge. You should have been born with the damn edge. See, we breeding for the edge. You know, we breeding for the edge. You, I guess, <laughs> you ain't have that edge with your dog. You know, but back then you heard about it. That's why you bought your ass way over here from where you was from to get you some of that little John stuff. You know, but you didn't want to get on a thing and pop shit like you seen. You ain't seen no dog off that line of dogs from the source. You might be seeing some of them brothers out there in the streets somewhere, dogs. But you talking about a line of dogs that you not or haven't had. And and it's crazy how Big John falling off your tongue and you never seen him in your damn life. Never seen not one of them boys, though. You did see, see JD. That's why you can't stop talking about him. See, I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to tell you about the Mayday shit. I got Mayday dogs in the yard. You got a fool up there lying about that Mayday shit and he don't got a Mayday dog to talk about. Getting up there bashing Pelican Bay. Man, I got a lot of dog time left. As long as the Lord allowed me to be here. You know, put me some good lines together. Like I said, you pushing 80. You ain't got but so much longer to check them percentages, boy. So much longer. But y'all worrying about PBK9s. Can't come up with no content. Lying about this dog man, that dog man. You know, it, it just ain't no dog man got up there and tell you. Them boys tell you from the chat so they can't get their uh, opinion across the way they need to get it across. And them boys be talking about you be up there lying about this and lying about that. Lying about this show, lying about that show. Oh, they, oh, 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 oh brothers, he's a lying motherfucker now. I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. And when I say what happened, I mean, what made the old man snap? So talking about may they make y'all that mad and y'all don't got nothing to show for it. No may they dogs to bring out. I go get me a big John dog and, and, and like I tell my brothers, Mellow Yellow got the short film. It'll be debuting on the day of the Samurai Kennel Digital Dog Show. You know what I'm saying? It will we'll be um, uh, premiering that on that day and it's going to be a short movie. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be based on her process of uh, getting ready for this damn show and all the hate them big John dogs get because these brothers never had one. Might be wanted one. You know what I'm saying? Never had one. And it gonna make them mad because they can't go in the yard and pull out something without going to buy it after they hear this video. They might go buy something after they hear this video. But right now, P PBK9's got more Mayday on his yard than they do. And guess what? <laughs> I didn't like the Mayday dogs back in the days. And I don't care about the pedigrees. I got papers on my damn dog. My dog is J.D. Hogg. You want to breed a J.D. Hogg? That's cool. Whatever you want to look at the papers, that's you. Take the papers. You want to match them up how you want to match your pair? That's cool. That's you. I'm running my dog. I'm not thinking about that made shit in the background. My dog is the truth. But see, I got hands on with mine. I ain't just an old man up here talking, lying and kicking off the shit. Two years of talking and ain't showing nobody nothing but a damn molly while doing a couple of damn tricks between your damn leg and a couple of damn articles talking about the brat. See, the first twin ran out of content a long time ago. What do you call it, Maurice? You ran out of time. You ran out of content a long time ago. That's why you brought your brother. Y'all boys better pay attention. Every time they run out of content. He bought his brother when he ran out of content. Because he, he wasn't running him at first. He bought his brother. And then after a while, him and his brother ran out of content. Then he bought his old ladies up there. And that's why I say he going D'Angelo in this shit. Butt naked for views. Doing anything he can. It's amazing how y'all old ass hooked on social media. You can learn a lot from a dummy. You can learn even more from two dummies. Now, I know I couldn't just ride off with my stories I told y'all brothers. Because them stories. See? Them stories. I got my dog game today, 2023. You know what I'm saying? 44. 
not 80 years old. And ain't got no dogs to show. Some gonna like it and some ain't. <laughs> Be down. Some gonna like it, some ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault. He's 70 years old and don't got no line to show. Only man know you. Oh, Rasta them probably know you. And if that brother really tell the truth, he probably only know you after you damn got on your damn show. Just because two brothers in a book don't mean they know each other. But hey, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, me and my, my subscribers, we just gonna keep on stepping. No more responses, period. You know what I'm saying? No more responses because this channel fell all the way off. This channel fell off. You know? If y'all stop donating, watch out, watch out y'all see within a week's time, them damn five-hour chats go down to damn one hour. And then from that one-hour chat, they'll go down to 15 minutes. He'll fall all the way off in a minute. Stop donating to them five-hour lives he's throwing and see what he do. He ain't got no content creation to keep his thing going. Then you want to talk about this and talk about that. And you unknown in the South. <laughs> pro been told you back in the days, you know. But brothers just brush it over because he's a new pro. And I just ain't say nothing about it. And, and I heard when fat, you talking about Fat Bill, like I said early in the video, the man said he didn't know you. The man said that it ain't hard to recognize a name going hard. I could be 20 years down the line if somebody said, oh, yeah, I know him. That man ain't know you. Then you get to scream about other brothers, other brothers, calling for validation. Who you calling for validation? Is they even in the chitlin' circuit? Two people on a channel talking about a bunch of dogs. He claiming he bought nine of them. Oh, well. You know how many people come at one time and buy nine dogs? See? Anybody who get nine, common sense would tell you you can't do everything you can do with all nine of them damn dogs. You put them on a chain and let them grow up? That's what you did? Yeah. You bought nine of them like that shit means something. You couldn't take care of them nine. You left them nine dogs on a damn chain and hope they damn did, did whatever they did. Ain't no telling how they turned out. And then you talking about nine dogs? Like, this is how small-minded... Some of y'all want to be old ass, washed up ass dog man is. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to accept that your game play is over. That shit you do is through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, washed up. Washed up. That's why I didn't know y'all when I was bulldogging because you was unknown. You weren't the ones I was seeking for. You know? You want a known name. And if any brother get up and lie and act like you knew them motherfuckers before they start getting up on this dog video, you's a damn lie. Oh, yeah, he ain't got the damn, you got the book to fall back on. But ain't nobody knew them motherfuckers. Pro introduced them to the world, just like he said. But he didn't create their channel. They did their own thing with their channel. Pro introduced them to the world. Not the damn sporting dog journal. Not their dog game. Uh, the brat didn't introduce them to the world. May 2 didn't introduce them to the world. Pro did. But what about all them badass bulldogs you're talking about you got? Yo, 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 yo. I want you to tell me about some damn dogs jumping around all the damn time. Tell me about some damn dogs. Y'all think y'all about to milk this thing? I'm on Tuesday night. I'm on Tuesday as soon as they hit, and we getting dog talk. I'm on my regular times, and we going Friday night, you know? And that's how we doing it. That's how we doing it, you know? You don't got more viewers than me. You don't got more subscribers than me. You don't got more content than me. You don't got more dogs than me. 
You're not trying to help these young folk. You just talk about a bunch of bullshit in the basement. A bunch of unreality, fat, fantasy, fairy tale ass shit living off the 90s. That shit over, man. If you can't get your shit together now, get the hell up out the dog game, man. Right here playing these old man ass games. See, telling one man this and thinking, telling the next man this and trying to run game on both brothers, this and that. Listen here. Well, fuck, keep fucking around you want to. Like I say, it is what it is. Ain't no response needed after this. No response needed. I can promise you that. I'm moving on. I got too many things to do. Too many great dogs to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Too many great dogs to deal with. <laughs> See, it's a new era now. Like I tell my brothers, if y'all wanted me to stop talking about Bo back in the days, you should have been kicking my ass. Right? All right. Boom. Now, <laughs> you, want, you want somebody to, to recognize your dog game outside of the brat them? Some shit in the magazine, some shit 40 years ago, then you better show and prove. You know what I'm saying? And when I say that, I mean, stop talking about all these dogs, may they this, may they that, when you don't got one. It's easy to talk about a Porsche when you don't got one. It's easy to talk about a Ferrari when you don't got one. It's easy to talk about a Lambo when you don't got one. Talking about this and talking about that, what you had back in the days. This ain't back in the days. That's what's wrong with y'all old ass niggas now. think it's back in the days but like I said last night I wasn't coming to scratch I'm coming to finish you know what I'm saying ain't nothing else to argue about when I got two monkeys jumping around oh, yo 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 the channel done dropped all the way to the bottom you know what I'm saying channel done dropped all the way down you better figure something else out without trying to diss somebody you know what I'm saying? You say you got the scoop on round here. Man, you don't know nothing about round here. No bulldoggers in South Carolina know you. No bulldoggers in South Carolina know you until you got your show. That's how bulldoggers know you, and you try to use the, the people that met you after you got your show and try to use that as credit, as in people knew you all your life, and they don't go like that. It wasn't like that. You was an unknown. You was one of the ones that you was claiming blackball. Front like you was best friends with Victor. Freshman in the varsity. More like the freshman and the senior citizens. Shout out to my old Bulldoggers out there, man. Shout out to my old Bulldoggers with a line to represent. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad at my brothers because you don't got no line to represent. Them boys got a legacy. <laughs> you get mad because you don't got one damn dog to represent all that shit you talk on these damn videos. And them boys got a legacy of dogs. A, a legacy line. A line that some people like, some people don't. Some gonna like it, some not. Some gonna like it and some ain't. <laughs> a champion with no opponents. <laughs> I be damn. You know, the boy trying to use all my content. But at the end of the day, you can't say it better than me, baby. You can't say it like me. <laughs> your vocal cord is too old, man. Listen here, man. Y'all boys want to go at me? Get your dog game up the park. I ain't talking about your old shit. I'm talking about your modern day dog game. And stop all that wolfing and talking. You know, stop all the wolfing and talking. See, that's why I tell my brothers. You got a brother that's supposed to be concentrating on doing something good for the dog community over here. But yet, he over here starting down uh, bullshit for nothing. And like I said, this is the only time I'm going to respond. And I promise y'all that. I promise you that because I wasn't going to respond this time. Because when it comes to him, a response, a no response means more than talking shit. Cause that let them know I don't think shit of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it now because I told you I was going to come with this one. You know, and I hope y'all got y'all popcorn like I told y'all. You know what I'm saying? We tired of these old ass dog men 
up here giving it these damn lies, talking about these damn stories, and don't got no damn dogs modern day time. He can't help y'all brothers with none of these laws, none of this stuff that's going on. No nothing about no damn people getting busted with dope and they getting the dogs took no none of that type of shit. This motherfucker is lost when it comes to modern day shit with dogs. Lost. Talking all that 80s and 90s shit. Steroids, this. What? Yo, 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 yo. Y'all done jumped y'all ass on the wrong damn dog channel this time. I believe so. I believe so. Yes, sir. <laughs> like I said, man, ain't number one statement to give. Old ass niggas with nothing to show for it. Oh, he might want to show you his rings and little watches and you no know, chains or something like that or money. This and, we ain't talking about that. We talking about them damn dogs. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We talking about them dogs. More people know about Sambo right now, I guarantee you, than me too. I'll put money on that. I put money, more people know about Sambo than May 2 and the Brat. How much you want to put on that? How you love them apples? That one got a man. More people know Sambo than know the Brat, you know, because uh, more people know Sambo than know May 2. And the only thing made his channel, channel revelant a couple days ago was mentioning my damn name and talking about dogs he ain't never touched before. Like I said, he had little John dogs. He didn't have no big John dogs. But he talking about big John. He bred the little John. What the fuck is this dude talking about? Two different dogs. Two different studs. One coming off yellow, the other coming off ace. He bred to the dog coming off ace, but he talking about the dog coming off yellow. Is this old motherfucker losing his brain? And then I flip to his channel real quick. I hear him up there talking about saddle this and some this and a bunch of shit. He don't know what the hell he up there talking about. Lying to y'all brothers. Showing the pedigrees. Making you gassed up because he reading these pedigrees with two brains over there. Two dunces. You know what I'm saying? Two dunces. Y'all better start going to your nephews and nieces and all that type of shit if y'all can't get no content and try to get some creativity from some of them. You know, a, a more younger brain. You know? Now, twin, one week you saying, oh, Pelican Bay remind me of me, this and that, this and that. And then the next next couple of days you tear me down, right? But this is the deal. You and your brother can't compare to me. Like I said, don't think makes you valid in the dog game makes you talking about the damn brat dog you had back in the days and showing them books. Other than that, if Pro wouldn't have bought you up here months ago, nobody would have still, still never knew who the hell you was. Still wouldn't have knew who you was. My channel was already going. You the one would have been unknown if you wouldn't have got on Pro channel. To this day. I was already on my road, you know what I'm saying? Already on my way. But hey, like I said, man, we ain't going to be here too long, though. You know, we going to talk about this shit, get this shit over with, dead that shit. We ain't dead it. I mean, I'm going to dead my problem, you know what I'm saying? Dead the problem, you know? Uh, PBK nines, always giving it to you. Hey, yo, listen, this is how this went down now. The whole time he in my ear trying to tell me I don't need him on my channel. I don't need nobody on my channel. The whole time he trying to stop me. He trying to keep everybody on my channel so he can single me one-on-one -on -one and try to get me one-on-one, -on -one, but he can't handle me one-on-one. -on -one. Him and his monkey jumping around, brother. Can't handle me one-on-one. -on -one. Like I said, show us some dogs up to date. We tired of that shit because y'all boys washed up, man. Y'all washed up. You know, you like a washed up old schooler that don't want to realize it. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to realize it. Just don't want to let go. You one of them brothers that them boys talk about in the chat down there that say you want to live fantasies forever. Get mad because I'm trying to lead these boys in the right direction. 
talking about this, talking about that. There's a lot, whole bunch of hate. It ain't just a big John dog, brothers. He tried to throw it on that. The hate coming from all different directions. You know, like I said, this channel <laughs> ain't popping like it was no more. Folk done hit them lies and folk tired of you talking about your damn self. If you didn't know it, now you know it because I told you. Folk tired of you talking about your damn self. With nothing to show, no dogs to show. You talking about the damn old school shit and you done ran out of stories over that. Because <laughs> a lie, you got to remember a lie, brothers. A truth, you don't got to remember. You can spit it out. Bam, bam. A lie, you got to remember. But hey, it is what it is, man. I know every time I bring them nice looking dogs out, it's going to make y'all mad. I know every time I do my thing, how I got to do it, it's going to make y'all mad. You know what I'm saying? To all the ones that was down in your chat last night talking shit with you. And since none of them can graduate anyway, you are all expurgated. You are dismissed. You are out of here forever. I wish you well. It's the right They ass gone. You know what I'm saying? They ass gone. We booting them out right about now. You know what I'm saying? Right about now. We moving on with the real when it comes to these bulldogs, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, your old school ass story don't help me with shit the day modern day time. You know what I'm saying? Not none of the not none of the ingredients, none of that shit. Steroids, no nothing. Cause see, my brother's about breeding good dogs, like I said before. Fuck them steroids. Yo cheating ass ain't never had a damn dog that you won with without a damn steroid. Steroid, steroid, steroid. Man, get that shit the hell up out of here. That shit ain't what it is. Get a bulldog that can do that shit without a steroid. That's when we talking, man. That's when we talking. You know, y'all boy keep talking about this and talking about that. What the fuck is you using these roids for if your dog's so damn good? Like I said before, a bunch of bullshit you're talking about. Bullshit. Making a seven or nine. Yeah, you can make a seven or nine, but bitch, we breeding nines, motherfucker. And one thing about it, he know we breeding nines. That's why he tried to come over and get him some. That's why he ain't come back over and get no smoke. If he thought he got a curl little, why he ain't come back and get no smoke? Because he ain't want that smoke. Matter of fact, he wasn't even connected like that. He was just happy to meet that motherfucker. But hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Like I say, we're going to keep this thing going, you know, Hope y'all had a good night. Hope y'all had a good day. Hope y'all have a good night. You know, I ain't going to talk y'all to death. You know, uh, salute to all my bulldoggers from one side of the world to the other side of the world, from one side of the country to the other side of the country. Keep doing that thing like you're doing it. Oh, boy, I got some new lives coming for y'all brothers, man. Listen here. Wait a AQ Henry, man. Listen here. Boy, y'all some corny ass bulldoggers. You know what I'm saying? Talking about. Me like that on another. I can see if you're throwing up the smiley faces, just laughing or something. But with indulging the conversation to try to tear a brother down when you over here indulging in the conversation to try to lift me up. But I'm prepared for it. Like I told y'all, you know, you're going to need more than two old ass uh, senior citizens with no dogs, with no up to date shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Outside of a damn steroid and an old ass Mayday dog. Damn that Mayday shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to J.D. Hall, the realest Mayday dog that he came out of his mouth with lately. You know, don't let, don't let him throw none of y'all other brothers into this. You know what I'm saying? Don't let him do it. He's trying to throw all your other brothers into this. Tell him to talk that shit for his damn self. Talk about them Southern, where he been at down here in the South, other than Florida. Bulldogging. That's why he always trying to knock South Carolina. Ain't no dude from Ohio can tell me nothing about no damn South Carolina. Yeah, you got to travel. See, it's a difference. I told y'all, brothers. Ohio, you have to travel. South Carolina, you don't. Back then. And to my Ohio brothers, like I say, salute to y'all, brothers. Because he putting other people in things that they don't got nothing to do with. You know? But like I say, we ain't gassed up off no damn stories from the damn 80s when you ain't damn doing shit with these dogs today. You can't benefit nothing I'm doing with these dogs today. All you can try to do is stop me from getting money. 
You was a hater. You and your brother. Five hours together, jumping across the screen, acting fool, and that's all y'all can come up with? But hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And guess what? I'm, like I said before, I'm about to go out there because I was supposed to bend that gone. Talking to you, you know, I got another part of the video coming as well. You know what I'm saying? I got another part that I already dropped already. You know, it's just too long to put down on my film, put down on my footage and stuff. You know, so I'm going to give you all this one. And I got more stuff coming. But all of it's done dropped already. You know what I'm saying? All of it done dropped already. Y'all keep bulldogging from one side of the world to the other side of the world. Y'all don't forget to hit Samurai Kennel up to join that digital dog show because we're going to get that thing smacking this September or whenever the, the, the final, you know, whenever the date is. The, the final date to turn your dog is is September the 15th. You know, but you got to talk to that brother to see when the actual show date is. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, go ahead and join that show, man. Go ahead and join it. You know, it's going to be fun to compete with all my brothers and sisters out there. You know, it's going to be fun to compete, man. It's going to be fun to compete. And one thing about it, hands on with these dogs. We ain't going to lie and talk about it and talk about some stories from back in the days. You know, it is, is what it is. Don't be out there talking about your dogs with these brothers who ain't getting out here talking all reckless and all kind of dumb shit and they ain't got no damn dogs or they got a couple dogs and they ain't want to show you theirs but they want to talk about your shit. Like I said, my rookies, before I get up out of here, my young boys, my green boys, going hard kennel ain't no different than y'all. They 70 some years old, going on 80 and they ain't got no line to show for it. No dogs to show for it. They trying to find a line to start off right now and they only got a little bit of time left. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find a line right now. No different than my 19, 20-year-old brothers right now. Trying to start your line off. Y'all doing the same thing going hard kennels is. Searching for something that they call good. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody should have told going hard twin Maurice that it wasn't a good idea to play with the bay like that. Man, run this shit back. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running now, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can have me doubts, not what I'm about, have your f***ing clouds, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now. You don't wanna f*** with me. A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can I wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my f mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss I make shots, I miss lots I tell you get big box You get yachts, you swing lots And pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing Got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it Know that I'm on it, I'll make it, I promise
See, I'm going to do this for my Carolina folk, North and South. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my Horry County people. You know what I'm saying? Man County, Florence County, you know, Dillon County. You know, I'm doing this for all my people, all my people in the South, Georgia, Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, Arizona, Texas. You know what I'm saying? All my people in the West, California, Tennessee, all my people. You know what I'm saying? New York, you know, because they tired of it. They tired of it, man. You know, now let's stick to facts. Twin, <laughs> pro beat y'all. Pro already out scratch y'all, you know. You had to throw up some bullshit and try to uh, say something about he wasn't in the dog game or this or that and cripple him, right? But truthfully, your brother might look like a recovering addict his damn self. You know what I'm saying? I can see him. I can spot him. Is that why you got him on your show trying to help him out a little bit? Trying to get him get his shit together? Because Mike damn sure look like a recovering addict. See, twin, one thing about it, the chitlin circuit closed to old folk like you. See, most of them young boys, you know, the chitlin circuit might accept some of them because they got fresh brains. Fresh brains, fresh thoughts. You know what I'm saying? You should have been getting your stuff together all them years, all them years, all them years. You know, you you going, like I said, you going on 70, but your dog game got a missing place. You know, your dog game got a whole bunch of space missing from the Brat era. Whole bunch of space missing. That's why I tell you, <laughs> you been bulldogging for me, <laughs> but you ain't been bulldogging longer than me. Constant, consistently. You got decades of missing space in your bulldog game, twin. And you up here trying to coach brothers, preaching to brothers, sounding like a preacher on the damn show every damn day. That shit boring, man. Same way brothers go to church, fall asleep with boring preachers. They falling asleep listening to that shit you talking about. And like I said, that's two losses. You done lost the pro. And like I said, I ain't responding back to a channel that it done fell in the rankings. Mr. No Content. Some gonna like it, some ain't. <laughs> hey, see, you wanna do the laugh at the end. Some gonna like it, some ain't. You know? Now, what you can do is you can bite this. You can copy this. Look at this video and it gives you something to talk about for a month. Because like we said, you don't got a whole lot of experience with Mayday dogs like you claim. Because if he did, you'd have more than the brat. You know, like I asked you early in the video, how many times did you breed the Mayday? But you the Mayday spokesman. Well, not a damn Mayday dog to show for it. If that ain't an old man popping smoke, that ain't an old man popping smoke. And we trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, let you hang with them boys, you know. But them boys been seeing you as washed up. Them boys say, go to the pedigrees, go to the pedigrees. Listen here, man. Pro Ben told y'all boys, like I said, Pro Ben told you he just start entering them dogs in the database as rum dogs, this and that, and this and that. And now he's trying to take credit for what the mother boys bred off the dogs, what the mother boys did with the dogs, this and that. That has nothing to do with his program. Only thing his program got something to do with is steroids. He need to be on a damn documentary with Jose Canseco, uh, Barry Bonds, and all them boys. You know what I'm saying? The, the man who trying to tell a brother about a bulldog but never had a bulldog and took him to the box clean. So you really don't know if you, like I said before, you really don't know what you got. So now we know the chitlin circuit closed. Now we know you don't know any real dog man. You know what I'm saying? You know a few of them Spanish brothers. Claim you know Victor, but Victor can't be here to prove it. Everybody you claim you know ain't nobody here to prove it. You know, no old school dog man come on your show to validate none of the shit you say. You know what I'm saying? None of them brothers. I'm talking about people you know. Old school dog man that's in the chitlin circuit. Now, you tell me you this close with Mayday, guys, and my ladies down there. He this close with Mayday, and yet when you go to that damn time going to pig picking, you over there like a, like I said before, like a damn fan. Run around like a chicken with a head cut off. So happy to be around these dog man you been reading about. You know? So happy to... Because I told y'all boys to get in them journals. All you had to do is ship your paper off. 
You didn't have to be around these people. You didn't have to meet none of these people. Ship your little paper off that they give you. Sign your little paper. How your match went down. And that's a wrap. It ain't no, no big time shit going on with that champion stuff in that journal. That man sent out magazines. And that man sent out little certificates. To everybody who got the magazines. So when you go to a show. You feel that shit out. Boom, boom, boom. It ain't no nothing like no 80 bed paper. It's three or four slots. The, the time, the dang, the, the referees. This and that, and then they tell you if you had a note, a notable referee or not. You know when they showed in the in the magazine, there was no sophisticated thing to tell was these dogs really champions or not. And yet you worried about Pelican Bay, and like I said right now, on everything I love again, once again, my brothers, we'll put money on it that I got more years in the dog game than going hard kennels got. Yeah, he been in the dog game before me. But we got absent space, lack of activity, no champions, no winners. Yeah, PBK can show you a winner. He he made after Sambo. Sambo was clean, a clean dog, no steroids. So I can sit here and brag because I know that was all bull dog, not steroids. See, steroids help um, the brat. Steroids help the brat. Steroids help May too. Whatever he did, then they say he jumped the box. See, you can't brag about a dog that you never took out without steroids. So you don't even know. We can sit here and talk about clean dogs all night, and you don't know what the fuck going on. You can't get in our conversation because you don't know nothing about dealing with clean dogs. That's why you can't sell no puppies. You don't know how to produce. You spent years and years with you so close claiming to be a performer and forgot to learn how to master the art of breeding. Till you got damn 70 years old and now you want to get up here and lie and talk all kind of shit. See? Should have stayed your old ass in your place. See, pro a little younger than you is, he can still get his dog game up. And pro a little better shape than y'all is. He can still get his dog game up. Knock the man to say this and say that. You know. But like I said, all y'all wanted to do, all y'all was trying to do was get all them boys from around me so y'all can get me one on one. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we was trying to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you own it, Pale. You own it, PBK. You know. You own it. You own it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike, tell us about some dogs without twin being around, like I told you before. But like I said, man, we're going to stick to the facts. You know, uh, more years dogging than going hard twin. PBK9s for sure got it. You know what I'm saying? I got I got more years in. He just started before me. But he wasn't connected. <laughs> I was born connected. Going hard, I can't help it. You stayed in Ohio. You know, I stayed in the Carolinas. You moved to Florida. I stayed in the Carolinas. You know, you weren't connected in the chit chitlin circuit. You still ain't connected. You still out here, like I said, running around with your head like a hook. Talking about a bunch of old school shit. Them, new, them young boys don't want to, they want to hear it because they never heard it. But damn, this is what I'm wondering. Y'all boys in the chat be crucial, right? I go up in the chat looking at look up look up in his chat and all kind of shit. You you see brothers be always saying show this show that, but y'all ain't never request him to show y'all nothing. Y'all steady got him talking 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 and talking about pedigrees this and that and he ain't showing y'all shit. How dare you bring Big John and try to talk about a pedigree when you never spent a damn dollar on one, never on one like I told y'all before. Now we got brothers that's talking about dogs they never had or fucking seen. That's why I say Honey Badger like like going hard so damn much. You know, flat feathers of a, uh, what do you call how you say it? I don't know how to say it right now. I ain't got time to fuck it up, but you know what I'm trying to say. Y'all flocking together. You know what I'm saying? You know? So it is what it is, man. Age don't mean you ain't green, twin. Age don't mean you not green. 
You know, that's why you jumped on them steroids, and that's why you stayed on them steroids, because when you found out how to win with it, you know, you really didn't know how to win natural. And like I said, fuck three wins. What's three wins way back in the 80s where the motherfucker still popping shit now? What the hell you did since then, since the brat? Like I said, your dog game stopped after the brat. Hint, hint, my dog brothers. The whole game stopped after the brat. This motherfucker going on 70 years old. Talking shit to me. I'm 44 with more dog years in the dog game than that motherfucker. And when I was in the dog game, I was connected in the chill chitlin circuit. He want to mention my name. But like I said, I'm going to give him about, this right give him about two or three weeks worth of content. You know what I'm saying? Let's get about two or three weeks worth of content while we worry about something else and while we talk about other things on my channel, pedigrees of other brothers' dogs, while we talk about them great Eli dogs that done kicked them Mayday dogs' ass. Twin, I know like hell you ain't say Mayday dogs don't be getting their ass beat. I know you, the Mayday spokesman didn't say that. I challenge going hard, Kendall, to pull a damn Mayday dog out of his damn backyard right now. I'll walk off the show right now in my backyard and go get you a nice, healthy-looking Mayday dog with more Mayday than probably everything you had outside of the brat and them dogs and made two of them. J.D. JD Hogg, more Mayday than you had everything, every dog you had outside of that first branch of dogs you had. And we see you get starstruck. That's why you talk about Victor so, much, so damn much. You know what I'm saying? That's why you talk about Victor so damn much. You starstruck. You know? I always wanted to be part of the chitlin circuit. Then you finally got your chance. You know, when Pro put your ass on to the world, then you turn around and bite him. Finally got your chance to make it seem like you that shit. When you ain't did nothing, nobody don't know you. Using your age to try to uh, be, you know, over brothers like that shit means something because we we not in the era where you could talk about them lying ass stories you're talking about see one thing about hurricane <laughs> you got to put in some work to be like hurricane kennels when i mean work i mean years in the dog game good stuff bringing to the dog game good quality bulldogs bringing to the dog game what the hell has gone hard kennel produced for the dog game you see it's brothers out there right now that got dogs from Pelican Bay. Two different breeds. Matter of fact, don't you ever mention my damn name again. I got Malinois out there. I got pit bulls out there that brothers can say they got from Pelican Bay kennels. What the hell does going hard kennel got but a damn story from the damn 80s about a dog that's juiced up off damn steroids? Y'all brothers, tell him to tell y'all about a dog he worked, got in shape, and keep Without using that shit. Since I know that's what got you mad. You know that's what we're going to talk about. You know. Going hard can Seiko. That what we, that's what we're going to call you. Going hard can Seiko. And the other one we're going to call him going hard bonds. Going hard bonds the one that be in the background. Yo, 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 yo. And then we got Going Hard Canseco. He the one that talk all the damn time and give the lies. He done taught Going Hard Bonds how to lie. You know, he done taught Going Hard Bonds how to lie. But, hey, it just is what it is. We got to stay in our lane. You got freshmen, you got varsity, and you got senior citizens. You know, you got to stay in your lane. You can't wait till you get damn 80 years old and talking about uh, you skipped damn 40 years from the time you was 30 to the time you was damn going on damn 70. You should have been doing all that shit then, you know. See, you was an adult when you was in the journal. You 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 jumping on me, and I was a fucking teenager with a dog better than every damn dog you had. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't had a dog that can compete with both. Then you want to go back. I'm going to tell you what you do, bro, boys. Go back to talking about this. See, only reason I talk backyard talk with y'all brothers is to get on a level with everybody. To let you see, you know what I'm saying, 
these brothers be always acting like they never did backyard stuff because they damn lies. Everybody done did it. Everybody do it. In order to school your dog out properly, you got to do it. See? But they ain't going to tell you that. Everybody want to look sophisticated. Everybody want to look big time. Everybody want to act like they doing this and doing that. But they ain't telling you that real shit. See, when I tell you the real shit, then you try to play me like, oh, I only did backyard this and that. Nah, it's all good. I don't care. It don't bother me. You know, because I know what my dog was. And I know my dog was natural. No steroids. You know what I'm saying? When I tell you I worked mine or when I tell you mine did it natural or went an hour and a half or an hour or 15 minutes or two hours, it was the dog that did it, not the damn juice. See, there's a difference when you listen to a story from PBK9 Sambo and a story from Going Hard Kennels the Brat. Because now you're thinking about a dog that's full up with damn injection shit. That's not bulldog. That's a supplement helping that dog do that. You know what I'm saying? Helping that dog do that. And like I said, if you want that, breathe for that. Breathe for that steroid you're adding to your damn dog, brothers. You don't need that shit. You don't need it. If your dog can't cut the cut the thing, he can't cut it. You know what I'm saying? How the hell are you going to color a dog if he on steroids? How are you going to color a dog, truthfully, how are you going to color a dog if he on steroids? Because that's not your dog there. You got to wait till you see your real dog, then you color his ass. Because this dog on steroids is not your dog. This is another dog now. Once you hit a shot into his ass. So how you going to cull him if he lose? That wasn't your dog that lost. That was a dog that you made, you shot up with something. You turned him into a beast. Now, if your dog lose, that's a different story. <laughs> no, brothers. He jumped on a different dog, man, today. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's all good, though. I'm going to stop messing with your brother, Mike, because I know he kind of ignorant to this dog shit. You know what I'm saying? I know he kind of ignorant to this dog shit, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Y'all going to learn before y'all fuck with the wrong person next time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to learn, you know? And I'm about to give my dog brother some dog talk real quick. And I'm going to get back on your ass, y'all ass, when we get finished with this. You know what I'm saying? Now, brother, hunt down Kennel's ass. Why does so many dog men jump on the, the, the going trend? Whatever's hot that time. And, you know, I mean, just my opinion, brother. Um, I think it's two things, you know, one, a brother trying to get a good dog. So, you know, they might hear that this dog is good or, you know, they hear the rumors about this dog. So one, a brother trying to get a good dog Two, you know, brothers think sales, you know, if, 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 um, JD hog is the hottest dog for the year, you know what I'm saying? And it got, you know, other dogs you're talking about brothers are, are, are you know, they, they, they thinking about the sales that's coming from it. You know what I'm saying? If they got a dog that's going to compliment that when they showing that pedigree or when they look up on online pairs and it's looking good, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they go with it. And it's pretty much like anything, man. You know, uh, anything that's hot, whether it's cars, what no matter what it is, um, clothes, no matter what it is, even down to the jewelry and everything like that, you know, um, the, the the masses flock to it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, whatever's hot, the going trend. That's just the American way. You know, it's just a fad. Yeah, that's why you got to figure out and, and why all this is going on, why everybody flocking to this and flocking to that, flocking to this. In the meantime, you figure out what you're going to flock to and stay to. Because the word flocking back and forth, going this, going that, going, trying this, trying that, trying this, is cool. It's cool, but one thing we got to remember, the more you try, the more Johnny Menzel you go. You know how Johnny Menzel used to do it? The money sign. The more you try, the more money you got to spend. So the thing is, you want to try, you, you want to strive for the best off top. And if that don't work, you know, strive for the next thing you think or heard is or however it go is the best. You don't want to just bam, 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 bam. Because all that's money, 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 money. You know what I'm saying? So while they going for the hottest things, if if the best thing is maybe the hottest thing, then shit, you know, we got to go for it. But yeah, man, the, the going trend is always the thing that the Americans flock to.
So twin, <laughs> you got a 30 year, you got 20 years of missing dog space. When you forgot how to make champions, when you forgot how to make winners, but yet you trying to get brothers to get down into some kind of so-called basement where you was Earl Tudor mixed with damn Conor McGregor. You can be Earl Tudor mixed with Conor McGregor in that basement. That way got you coming up looking for content and all kind of shit. No, you done ran out of lies. You done ran out of them. You should have been making them five-hour lives. You've been doing one hour. That way you could have stretched across the whole year instead of doing it, you know, the amount of time you did it. Somebody should have told you. If you ain't got much content, why the hell are you going to go five hours every damn night? You know your content going to run out soon. But y'all thought y'all had them dog brothers fooled down in that chat. Them boys only y'all shit. You tore out a shark tank. Yeah, them boys in the chat, they a shark tank. In your chat, my chat, the jungle. You know what I'm saying? Your chat, the shark tank. But you ain't no damn shark. It's just like you buy a shark tank and put it in your house. Yeah, I got a shark tank in my house, but I ain't a shark. You got a shark tank, but you not a shark. Don't fool yourself. Now, Catch Guard asked me uh, when it comes to skittish dogs or, you know, kind of shy dogs. Is it the traits or is it the lack of the owner messing with the dogs? Okay, and on that situation, it can come from both ways. Uh, it can be in the traits and it can be the lack of the owner messing with the dog and it can be both of them at the same time. Uh, for the most part, you know, when it comes to a skittish dog, I always say a skittish dog can be dealt with. You can handle a skittish dog if you spend, you, I'm talking about you got to, you got to really spend time with that dog. You know what I'm saying? Step and, and be slow and patient with that dog. You know, but, you know, do a little research. See if the, 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 the parents in the line and stuff like that is skittish acting. You know, it might be something that comes in that line. And that's when the traits, and, you know, that's when it comes to the traits and all that type of stuff. Uh, for the most part, uh, I can't give you a whole lot of, talk on the the skittish acting was i had one that was skittish acting that i really took time with it and she came out and right now she's one of the best dogs in that area you know she's one of the best dogs in that area but uh it just take time you know to deal with some of the dogs and like i said sometimes if people don't deal with the dog and he's already kind of skittish a little bit or kind of you know it's not that dogs are skittish these dogs just like Malinois, right? See, Malinois had a reputation of being a one-man dog. What's the, what I mean, they they looking at you to love them. You know what I'm saying? They know they don't care about all the dogs on your yard. They feel like they're your main dog, and it's the same way with pit bulls. You know, but we since we want to be one-minded and one-sided, we only want to think of them as fighting. We forget to think, you know, that they got minds and hearts and all that stuff too. When, so when you get them, they want to be the one that you loving. You know what I'm saying? And once they, you know, if they see you just leaving them on the chain, you know, they looking for that one person to love. And they're not going to trust nobody when you just, people think just because you feed them, you know, that you're going to build that dog trust. And you don't. And then that's when the statement go, oh, a dog bit me and I'll feed them. Dog never bite somebody to feed them. No, it don't matter because you feeding them. It's better how you treating them. See, a dog going to eat just to survive. But he being, he knowing how he being treated. You know what I'm saying? A person in the street going to eat just to survive. But if you treating them fucked up, they they gonna still eat. <laughs> they gonna still eat, you know. But they know how they being treated. So bro, that, that that bite the hand that feeds you shit. That's bullshit. Great question, my brother. Catch guard. Now, my brother Street Rossi said, uh, driver um, bump into a lot of soul losers in a box box or stuff like that. Or the thing about it, you know, um, I never bumped into nobody, no soul losers myself to the point where. It led to something else after the box. You know, I can't really, you know, you can't never tell how a person feeling on the inside. You know what I'm saying? But far as I bumped into more handlers that was being sore losers while they were losing. You know what I'm saying? While they were losing, they were being sore losers. And, and you know, just talking, um, making more noise than normal and, you know, just doing crazy shit. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? I never had a problem as far as the sore loser thing. 
you know, uh, you can talk shit afterwards as far as the next day or whatever like that. But, you know, I never really had a problem. Now, most of the problems that go down in them boxes go down during the show because the, the, the words get said, money is involved, and attitudes is out there. Tempers is flaring. Everybody on the edge. You know, so most of the things that's going to happen, if it don't happen right then during that show, it ain't going to happen. And Brother Boss Man say, why do people glorify these dogs that's not champions like Red Boy, Eli, you know, Bolio? And that same thing I say, uh, you know, uh, Boss Man, let's glorify our dogs. You know what I'm saying? These dogs, is no winners, no nothing. These brothers bred them to see what they was going to do. Let's glorify ours. You know what I'm saying? It's that time. It's a new era. Going hard, Maurice. Now that you got me by myself, what do you have the game to offer? 2023, outside of a story. What can you offer the game in going hard name 2020 outside of a story? Not a damn thing, my dog, brothers. Not a damn thing. You know, it just depends on if you're in the, uh, becoming a professional liar or something like that. You know, but when it comes to being a dog, man, man, he can't offer you nothing. See, y'all think that he telling you something because one, motherfucker talking for five hours. That shit like hypnot being hypnotized by a damn King Cobra. Listening in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood or some shit. You know? See, y'all better keep that damn S curl out y'all damn head if that shit gonna make y'all act like this. You know what I'm saying? Jump on people, make up fake beef for subscribers, for some views, for some donations. Y'all better take that S-curl out your shit. You know what I'm saying? One week it's got you going bold. The next week you done threw some damn show grow up in that motherfucker. No. You wouldn't be up there doing all that damn line. Your shit might not be falling out. Stop some of that damn line, man. You, you don't gotta. You can just fit in with the dog community. You don't gotta come in and try to be the top. Oh, that's what got them mad, brothers. That's what got them mad. The steroids and the thing about being the top dog, man. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about. I was talking about being the top dog, man. Last video. That's what got them mad. You want to be the top dog, man, but you wait till you get m eighty years old to want to do it. When you supposed to do that shit when you twenty. That's why you mad. Okay. Okay. Now, I told y'all boys I got more years in the dog game than he got. He just been in the dog game before I was in it. But he went to Space Mountain on us. Went to Space Mountain on us. PBK now asking, I could talk about dogs. I can name dogs that I had throughout the years. Damn, Sambo. Can you forget the brat? Can you forget May too? Now let's talk about the rest of them dogs you're supposed to be had. <laughs> I exit out Sambo. You exit out the brat. X out May too. I X out Nitro. Let's talk about the next dogs you had. I'm 44, going on 50. You 60 something, going on 70. I got Mayday dogs. I say, I never liked that Mayday dogs. I got Mayday dogs now. You don't got no Mayday dogs, and you trying to act like Mayday dogs were unstoppable. And yet, you don't got nothing now. You know? And like I said, if you was that damn close to Victor, why the hell you ain't get a whole bunch of Mayday dogs directly off Mayday? Whole bunch don't mean one or two. It means enough to start my damn, my damn shit up. Because you wasn't connected to the chili circuit. Chitlin circuit. Sorry, brothers. Oh, but he going to get that show. And he going to make these books the damn make it seem like he was connected to the Chitlin circuit. That motherfucker, don't know, nobody don't know him. Even with this show, even with the lies and shit you be saying, dog brothers still don't know you. And you make it evident when you go to these shows and places like that, you know. Let me ask you this. Why would you get on your show and say, 
Tell them brothers to donate for y'all to get gas to go to a damn dog show. What the hell is y'all doing for them brothers once y'all get there? But taking pictures. Them boys don't give a damn about you damn. I'm finally seeing your damn favorite damn dog, man, and cheesing like a damn chessy cat. Them boys don't care about that shit. You got the nerve to say, y'all send me some gas money to get down there. Not like you don't got the money. Like you saying, oh, um, donate to the chat to get me the gas to get the town going on. See? But we can tell, like you should all that dog shit you're doing, you don't even know gonna. Don't even know gonna. Oh, and let me say this to all the brothers. When you say you got a this kind of dog or that kind of dog, if you say you got a walk dog, then it, it need to be all the way walk, not 50%, not 25%. You know, anything else is a dog bred with that stuff. If you're not top and bottom, then it's not a walk dog. But, Brothers, show you these pairs. Try to act like you don't know what you're seeing. Act like you don't know what you're reading. This and that and this and that. Worry about them steroids and tell us a dog that you had that wasn't on steroids. And we already know your brother going to be jumping around in the background while you're talking about it. You know what I'm saying? We already know he's going to be jumping around in the background. You know? But like I said, them brothers been peeped them out. He don't know shit about no damn dog. But, hey, it is what it is, man. I ain't going to keep y'all boys here too long, you know. Shout out to all my people in the chat, man. Shout out to all my bulldogs from one side of the country to the other side of the country, from one side of the world to the other side of the world. You know, we just had to come do some bulldogging today. I'm done with this shit. I ain't commenting on, on it no more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I refuse to waste any more time on something that's irrelevant. Somebody that's irrelevant and somebody that's washed up on their way out. You know. Don't bring that old man energy up down here to me. You know. Don't bring that shit down here to me. You should have been bulldogging in that damn missing time space that you got there. That what you should have been doing. When you wasn't on, you just got on social media. But hey, y'all stay safe out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't believe the lies. Y'all can go ahead and go to the other channel now and, you know, bring your bag so you can catch the lies as they drop. You know what I'm saying? Bring your bag. You know, like I said, I know it's chat to be filled up with all my haters. All the ones that didn't have a chance to say what they wanted to say in my chat. You know what I'm saying? They'll be over there saying what this and saying that. But it is what it is. Like I said, Get your channel up to par. Get back up in the top 10 ranking, man. You ain't even in the top 10, man. You're not even in the top 10, if you ask me. You know, I don't put you in the top 10. Only way I put you in the top 10 because I'm trying to show you love because what? Because you're black? Because you talk on the channel for a long time? Like I said, that shit don't mean shit. How much information can a person learn from listening to that bullshit? Not a damn thing. PBK9s, I'm out. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go,
gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door Open it up, and finally explore Everything that you thought you could never do before uh, And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer, no man, I still go, go